Hey there, Libra. In this video, I'm going to let you know what you need to know this month from Spirit, Law of Attraction, Tarot, and Horoscope to manifest whatever it is that you want into your life. And so for those of you who are For those of you who are new to me, my name is Kelly Lunt, and I am a Law of Attraction and Vibrational Expert, just like Esther Hicks, in the sense that I am intuitive, I can speak to the spirit guides, and I can also collect your vibrations to get you into the vibration of anything and everything that you want to manifest. So I do have two spots open for one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's more in-depth packages, so it's like a bigger ask, selling a business, starting a business enjoying life more, graduating law school, getting dates, getting uh, getting the vibration of your husband. Um, so I have two spots for that. Link is in the upper right-hand corner and down below. And without further ado, Libra, um, it kind of looks like this month is a little bit of like a, like a, whoa, slow down, slow, slow down. Okay, so what do you, this is, this is for your overall theme for the month. So Libras, what we most want you, want you to hear is that there's a little bit of rushing ahead um, before, before receiving the divine download. It's as if you're trying to plan everything that you need to do and that this is what will get me to success. Whereas instead, we invite you to tune into Law of Attraction and tune into the vibration. How do you want to feel when you launch your course? How do you want to feel when you go on a date? How do you want to feel when you get married? How do you want to feel when you get that new job? How do you want to feel when you're around your kids and enjoying your time with your children? How do you want to feel when you're around your husband? Focus on that because there's a little bit in law of attraction in terms of focusing on the problem. Well, this is what's wrong. This isn't working. This is wrong. This isn't working. Instead of focus on the solution, how do you want to feel? And then allow us to do step two to, you know, maybe help align it so that you and a current honey bunny work out or that will bring you a new one. Focus on how you want to feel and stop worrying about the problem. Because <laughs> um, from there, once you ask that we can help more, it's kind of like quit worrying about what's out of your control, Libra. Quit worrying about what is out of your control. You are not in control of other people's emotions. You are not in control of anything than other than your point of attraction, Libra. Bring your attention inward this month and, and focus on how you feel and focus on raising your vibration so that you're, you're in the vortex. Um, Esther Hicks calls it in the vortex. Kelly calls it in alignment. You're in alignment. Like every, like all your actions just feel good to you. You're in alignment. When you're in that state, that's where you're going to be able to manifest, guys. Um, so Libra. So what's kind of like going on for you this month? Now moving on to the tarot part of it. Is you got the king of earth reverse followed by the page of fire reverse. So what that's letting you know is that it's kind of a month of potentially kind of like, okay, so Libra's. It's like there's a little bit of fear around the action that you have to take. And we would rather you acknowledge that fear around the action that you have to take than just plowing ahead full steam ahead. Because if you acknowledge the fear, you'll notice that that's number, 20, that's number 22 on the vibration list. The more that you could bring that fear into alignment, identify you feel the fear. Identify where, what it's about. Accept that you feel that way. And then love yourself for feeling that fear because that fear just probably is going to most is likely going to let most of you know that you just really want it. And how good does it feel to really want it? Isn't it going to feel good when you launch your course? Isn't it going to feel good when you when you go on that date? Isn't it going to feel good when you get that travel trip? Isn't it going to feel good when you get that new job? Isn't it going to feel good when you and your kids just share a hug and really enjoy that family time? We'd like to see you raise the vibration around the fear of action because from there. There, it looks like there's also a little bit of like fear of communicating your needs, fear of communicating what it is you want. It's almost as if you're afraid to admit what you want and like afraid to admit, I want to feel good. I want, like, I want it all. I want the car, the job, the money, the love. Like, I want it all. Like, the more that you can embrace, and this is what I want to experience. This is what I want to feel. Like, I would love to experience X into my life. We invite all of you to do that type of an ask. I would love to experience X in my life. And wouldn't it be nice to have this experience in my life? Like, yes. Wouldn't it be nice to have X experience into my life? This experience would be nice. It would feel so good to have blank this experience in my life. I now allow this experience to come into my life. I'm ready to experience this. Because the more that we find your challenge this month, Libra, is all about the Empress. 
Um, and the Empress is all about being very nurturing, very loving, very mature, very emotionally balanced, just very balanced overall. So we invite you, the more that you can love yourself, love yourself, self-accept yourself for what it is you want, Libras, the more that you're going to be able to allow it in. Like, I now allow this experience into my life. I allow myself to release resistance to this manifestation I want in my life. I allow myself to relieve, to receive this manifestation and I'm ready to experience it in my life and wouldn't it feel good to have this experience in my life? The more that you can love whatever it is you want, the more it's going to come in, guys. If you need help with that, apply down below too. There's a link in the right corner. So in terms of what's coming on the past, it's like, yeah, there's definitely a little bit of, um, a little fear of action in the past. There's a little fear of taking the next step, a little bit of staying stuck, staying resistant, because you're not taking the next step. And that's what that's what I always like uh, when I channel from them. It's all about living in alignment, tribally manifest. You're living in alignment like, this is my next step. Okay, a little bit of fear came up. I'm okay with that. I want to feel better about it. I feel better about it. Okay, what's my next step? The more that you stay in alignment, feeling good, feeling better about whatever it is you want, the more that you're going to get the next step and keep getting there. You kind of hit a, you got here and you stayed, you're stuck, stagnant. Um, in terms of what's going on right now, you guys are resisting change, Libra. You are resisting change. The world upright is all about the completion of a cycle. It's all about getting that ultimate manifestation. And you right now are in complete resistance of your ultimate manifestation. It's like you want the husband, you want the boyfriend, you're going on dates when a guy's like, hey, yeah, I'd love to see where this can go monogamously with you. And you're like, oh, no, no, no. I know you really don't mean it. Oh, no, no, no. That... I know you're just being nice. Uh, you're resisting your manifestation right now, Libras. And just the more that you can go back over the process that I did here for you, feeling better about it, the more that you're going to get in your life. And it, like, it's a major arcana card. You can't resist this change. This change is what's going to usher in. When it's upright, it, it like there's a little bit of emotions that you have to process, but then it, it like it's a bright golden path ahead of you. When this card's there, it's like you have good times ahead. But so the... You got to go through this change no matter what. It's all about how long are you going to delay it and how long are you going to prolong it. Um, so if you're like a spiritual person just starting your spiritual business, how long are you going to delay charging for your services? You have to go through that change no matter what. The world card's here. You have to start charging for your services more. After all, once you start charging, then you have money coming in. Then you can pay your rent. Don't you like paying rent? Don't you like paying your bills? Don't you like the roof over your head? You have to go through that change. And like the longer you resist it, you're the, you're the one dragging out your... Uh, it's, you guys are in resistance, man. Um, okay, so in terms of going forward, it looks like for you Libras, in the future, we highly encourage and recommend that allow yourself to, to fall in love with the things of your life that aren't so emotionally charged for you. Allow yourself to just sit back in, and in a chair, just be like, I like this chair. I like this chair. This chair that I'm sitting in is a good chair. This computer that I have that's allowing me to watch this YouTube video it, it's a computer. It works. The internet works. I like that the internet works. And, you know, I, I do like the roof over my head. And, and I like that there's heat. And I like that there's running water. And, yes, I like water. And I like toilets that automatically flush. And I like a refrigerator and a freezer. And, and, I, and I like, and, like, go general on what it is that you like in your life. Because the more that you can like things that aren't emotionally charged for you, you bring the vibration of love and appreciation into your life. I like the shirt I'm wearing. I like the color of my wall. I like my hair color. I like my TV. I like my video gaming system. I like whatever it is you like that's not emotionally charged. The more that you can do that and do it for at least three, four, five minutes a day, then the more that you're going to be able to be the empress and love all areas of your life so that you start getting in the finances that you want. Or not finances, but you'll start just getting in the flow and manifesting. Um, cause your personal power this month, it's like, yeah, I do you guys, you got the six of fire. The six of fire is like a card of victory. So upright victory, good news is on its way. Public recognition or awards. Your personal power this month is to release resistance and allow yourself to believe that it's possible. Whatever it is you want, your personal power this month in terms of law of attraction is to allow yourself to feel hopeful that it can come in and believe that it can come in. Just believe, Libra, we are here with you. We want you to have what you want. Spirit has your back. The universe has your back. Your own inner being, the part of you that is spiritual and vibrational, it wants you to also experience that. Know that you are, you are, you are loved and you are supported. And the more that you can allow yourself to okay inner being, 
I'd love to feel better about this. I would love to experience in my life. And wouldn't it be nice to experience this in my life? And all right, what do I need to do next to get this? The more that you're going to get flowing to actually get it. In terms of outside influences this month, um, wait, is that? Yeah, outside influences this month. You got the king of water here. And what we want you to know by this card, this card Libra, is that you have lots of love around you right now. You're just kind of closing your eyes to a lot of it right now. It's kind of like that whole um, saying, if there's 10 things going on in your life, the one that's not going well, you hyper-focus in on it. Instead, allow yourself to take a step back, view the whole forest, view your whole life, and say, look at all these areas of my life that are going well. My friends, I love my friends. I feel so, I feel so nurtured by my friends. I, I, like, I love them. I, oh, I love this about this friend. Um, and you know what? Like my job is going well. Maybe my home is going well. Maybe maybe work is going well, your new project. And then like, and I hope that this area of my life will start to feel better too. I hope this area of my life will soon to start to come up to these other areas. These areas of my life are going really, really well. The more that you can shine, open your eyes to all the love and good things you have coming in, Libra, it's going to open you up to the vibrations that you need to be in to manifest what you want. In terms of your hopes or fears for this month, yeah, you're, you're just, you're fearing that you're going to miss an opportunity. There's a little bit of fear of maybe I just wasn't born for it, Maybelline. Maybe I just wasn't made for it. <laughs> How do you guys like that one? <laughs> um, there's just a little bit of fear of what if I miss my opportunity? Oh, did I already pass my prime? Did I already miss my opportunity? Is it too late for me? Um, hear that and turn it into a hope. Like, all right. I doubt a little bit that my manifestation manifestation come. This is step five, law of attraction. I doubt that my manifestation could come in right now, and that's okay. Identify what vibration you're at. I doubt that it can come in, and that's okay. I'm human. Sometimes doubts come up. I love that I'm human. I love that I'm in touch with my emotions. I love that I identify that I was at doubt. And what I'm going to love even more is when this doubt turns into contentment, and this contentment turns into eager anticipation of how it's going to come here. I'm ready to begin to feel hopeful about what I want in my life universe. Uh, help me, allow me, I am ready to feel hopeful. I Wouldn't it be nice to feel hopeful about what I want to experience? Just move your vibrations up, and you will soon get it. In terms of the outcomes for this month, it's kind of like, yeah, it's just, it's just nine of earth is all about enjoying the little things of life, the time that you have, the money that you have, the friends that you have, the romance that you have. Um, and because it's reversed, it's just at this point of time, this is an energy snapshot read, Libras. At this point in time, we're just picking up predominantly in your vibrations right now, Libras, that you just don't believe that it's possible. You're, just, you're, you're at a, a doubt, a frustration, a just can't possibly see how this manifestation can come in. We need you to begin. You can do... It's sometimes law of attraction is about doing the big ask. I want to experience $150,000. I want to experience a million dollars. I want to experience a husband. I want to experience a car. But sometimes it's also about, I want to experience feeling better about this. I want to experience better thinking thoughts. I want to start waking up in a better frame of mind. I want to start enjoying my time with my friends more. I want to start enjoying my time with my children more. I want to feel like a better mom. I want to feel like a better mom. And wouldn't it be nice to feel like a good mom? Wouldn't it be nice to feel like a good, a good wife? Wouldn't it be nice to feel like a good husband? Wouldn't it feel nice to just be that like wouldn't it just it wouldn't it be nice to just know inherently that like I'm an awesome person. I'd love to feel better about life in general. Once you do that, like you've got everything there, Libra. It's just more about release the resistance, release, 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 release the resistance, Libras. Okay, love you guys bunches. Comment below, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Comment below, let me know what's going on. Um, there's a link below to, to if you want one-on-one -on -one spiritual coaching. There's also a link to my Facebook group if you just want to come hang out live and interact a little bit more. There's also a link below to, I created a PDF explaining the four clear senses, um, clear audience, clairvoyance, so you can build your own intuition. I also made a guided meditation to meet your spirit guide. And I also made a, a little five concise, it's the only concise PDF out there that I can find that explains each step of law of attraction, one through five. Most people out there just talk about steps one through three. I deep dive into step four and five with you so you get the complete cycle. So if you guys want that, there's a link below to sign up for it and you'll get, uh, you have to confirm that you want it and then you'll get straight to your inbox. Okay, I love you bunches, Libra. Mwah. Happy manifesting.